Hello Chocks and Chockettes, and in between, Chocolate Roberts here for another video review, this time it's for the Twix Top. Yes, thanks so much to Lula for this one, for recommending this as part of the uh, 1000 subscriber special. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. Um, you've got two accounts on here, I'm not sure which is your main one, I think one might be your brother's or something, but, um, but yeah, either way, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, so uh, good to see you as always, and um, hopefully you're watching this one. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, so basically I have had this one before in the past, but it was a long time ago, um, and I can't... I don't know why I didn't review it really. I think I was, yeah, I think I had it um, a while ago, but I think uh, basically I ate it. I think I think I just couldn't wait to review it. So <laughs> that's the one of the problems of having lots of chocolate around the place. Um, it's very difficult to you have a lot of willpower to stop yourself eating it before um, before you do the review. So you know, I think I just couldn't resist. But I did have one on its own. You do sell, sell them in singles, um, but as you can see, this one's a pack. Of, I think ten. Yes, yeah, so it says ten here. Yeah, so there we go. Um, yeah. So before I forget, I've done them. Um, about 650 reviews now, I think. So in this corner, there'll be a playlist of all my reviews. So uh, once you once you watch this one, you've subscribed and liked it, of course. <laughs> Go click on that and you can watch the rest of my reviews as well. There's plenty there. Lots of different Twix reviews and all sorts. So, um, yeah. And of course, you're in a position to do so as well. I've got a Patreon. So, um, yeah, the link will be there as well. Uh, please click on that if you're in a position to do so. And um, at least check it out either way. And it'd be great if you can help me out there. But either way, I hope you enjoy the review. <laughs> okay, so back to it. So, um, yeah. So basically, Twix normally is a fingered bar. Two, it comes in two fingers, essentially, uh, generally. Um, you can buy them in single-fingered versions, but they're generally like a, a smaller version of the actual two-fingered bar. Um, and essentially, it's a sort of biscuit with a caramel layer on top covered in milk chocolate. So the Twix top is kind of... It's more like a sort of biscuit version, really, of the bar, I guess you'd say. So you can see here, it's kind of got the... sort of the biscuit as a, as a base of it, really. You can see there half me to tell if you can see that but um there's the base there with the caramel on top and then the chocolate on top so it's mainly the biscuit this time i mean well twix play is mainly biscuits anyway but it's just it's just a different way of giving you the same bar i guess um and it says with two cereals as well um i'm not really sure you know what they well it's a gimmick i guess but there you go so it has two cereals <laughs> so what's the official description it says biscuit topped with caramel 12 percent and milk chocolate 26 percent Ingredients, wheat flour, 29%. So there's obviously, so yeah, I don't know. So there's two biscuits. It's got barley in there as well, so I don't know. Or two cereals. So barley, perhaps some wheat, I don't know. So it's for vegetarians, it says. Make a tame peanuts. So there we are. So, um, yeah, so basically it's 10 times 21 gram bars. So it's 210 grams in total, of course. So portions per pack, 10. So that's great. So it does give you an actual um, nutrition information per pack, which is good. Um, yes, yeah, so per 21 gram... Biscuit, uh, 106 calories, 5.3 grams of fat, three of which are saturates. But per 100 grams, um, it's 506 calories, 25 grams of fat, 14 of which are saturates. So there we go. Yeah, so for all the whole for all of this is over a thousand calories for the whole box. <laughs> yeah, so there you are. Um, but yeah, 106 calories per per, per biscuit, and there's ten of them. So there we go. Yeah, so it comes in this nice um, sort of box. It does open a bit like a. Sort of tissue box, you can see, but it's a bit unusual for it to be at the top, maybe. I think you normally expect it to be at the bottom to so open here, but it opens at the top. Um, Twix top, I guess. So there you go. <laughs> maybe that's why it's called Twix top. <laughs> well, I'm assuming, you know, really, I mean, you probably have guessed it, but I'm assuming it's called Twix top, really, because all the stuff's on top of the biscuit this time. Um, so there we go. Yeah, so very interesting. Yeah. Right, well, um, I don't think there's much more to say, really, but yeah, I do quite like the look of it. It's got the sort of evokes the Twix um, feel with this part here, of course, got like the gold background and then the rest of it's yellow, of course. Regular Twix isn't yellow, and you can see it's got lots of cereal pieces, all these sort of wheat sheaths dotted around the, the box, and you can see those. So clearly it's trying to say that this is kind of like some kind of healthy cereal bar or something. I'm not quite sure that's... Well, it's got cereals in it, two cereals, but of course, you know, yeah, I don't know. It's definitely um, trying to put it into a different bracket rather than just a chocolate bar. There we are. They just continue on the sides as well, which is quite nice. Not this side, though. <laughs> well, a bit, actually. There's a bit there. <laughs> but there's lots of uh, gubbins uh, on the side of the sell-by date and stuff. Get in touch. It says, mars.co.uk forward slash contact. Free post, Mars Wrigley Confectionery Limited, UK Limited. There we go. Right, well, if there's much more to say, I should give it open. Get into it. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, once well, so I give you these Twix tops and open then. So um, yeah, thanks again to Lula for the recommendation for this one. Um, hope you enjoy the review. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I'll see you. I'm sure I'll see you in the chat. So you let me know what you think. <laughs> the Discord chat, that is. Um, okay, so let's uh, right, give this an open then. Um, mm. 
Right, okay. Yeah, so there we go. So that's quite nice on the inside, doesn't it? I quite like that opening. There's lots of these in there. It looks very, it's very nice. Bit of um, space at the side. You can see there's definitely some gappage there. I don't know if you can see just how much gappage there is, but there's definitely enough there. Yeah, so, um, you know, yeah, there's obviously 10 bars in here. So the whole box is uh, the width is the other way. It's about 22 centimeters, give or take a millimeter. We'll say 22 for easiness. And each of these is roughly in the packet 3.8. <laughs> that doesn't make it easy, does it? So 3.8. Well, 38 divided by 2, 19. So 19 centimeters. Yeah, so 22. So four centimeters there that we don't need, basically. Um, in this box, <laughs> roughly, roughly. Uh, let's see, does that kind of equate? Yeah, that looks quite right. It seems to be more like three centimeters. Um, can I work that out correctly? Yeah, 3.8, 38 for, for 10 of them, times by 2, 19. Hmm. Yeah, so 19, 22. Yeah, three centimetres. Yes, I think I said four. It's three centimetres. Yeah, which works out because there is a gap of three centimetres. Yeah, so, yeah, three centimetre gap. So when you think that the, one of these is, you know, what is it, just under four, so you're getting the, you're almost missing an entire bar almost, almost, you know, so a bit cheeky, I think, definitely. And of course, when you consider that there's two layers of this, that the space, the area missing is actually enough for one bar because there's, there's two of, you know, these are stacked one on top of the other. So there's sort of two, you know, like three quarters times two, so there's over one bar missing there. So yeah, it's a con really, it's a con. The height wise isn't too bad, it's acceptable I think. There's probably you know, half a centimeter clearance, but I think that's fair enough. So let's take one out, I say there's 10 of them. Yeah, so but flourishes again, <laughs> I mean these are massive flourishes. Yeah, so you can see, you know, it's very small again. I mean, I don't, you know, yeah, this is, this is good. When I open this, we'll see this even more, but, um, yeah, you know, we're going to, I mean, you can see without even being open, just how much, it's a bit hard for me to share, but you can see, <laughs> yeah, I mean, look at that, this, this is ridiculous, you know, so the amount of wasted space in this box is ridiculous. <laughs> Fills it makes it doesn't look like it because of the because of the flourishes you see you know it looks like it fills the box you go, oh yes that's full of you know goodness but it's not you know and I'll show you when I open it in a minute so yeah but the packaging is not too bad you know, just as best before and it's um got a bit of description as well which is valid information see the uh, see the actual box not for individual resale overall not too bad okay so let's give it open now just measure the uh, so it's just, you know, about, about, um, about 12 centimetres. Yeah, so 12 centimetres it is in the packs. So let's give it an open. So it was 12 centimetres. What is it now? Yeah, it's about 8 centimetres. So it's 4 centimetres there. So it's lost a half the bar, so it's 50% smaller. From end of flourish to flourish. Yeah, so there's in half the bar again, so you can see, you know, the flush here doesn't quite stretch out very well, but when I stretch it, you, know, you can see there just how much you're losing. That's ridiculous, that like 50% flourish is ridiculous. And as I say, if I put it in the, uh, in the actual box, they always do this, these sort of biscuit bars and things, but look at that, you can see how much space you're losing. You know, it's just this top bit here. Look at that. So not only are you losing, you know, basically one bar's worth at the side, you're losing multiple bars here. You know, I mean, what's the, what's the height of the box? Roughly. Let's see, height of the box is roughly about just 11 and a half, 11.7 centimetres. So the biscuit itself. It's about eight centimeters, so it isn't three and a half centimeters per biscuit there. So you know, never don't forget it's double. It's you know, it's double. So you're losing basically, 
three and a half times two because of the height of the box because there's two bars um, for the height. So yeah, so what did I say? So it's 7.7 .7 and the actual thing is yeah, about eleven point eight. So seven so three, four centimeters. Is that three? Is that four centimeters? Eleven point eight, seven point seven. Yeah, four centimeters basically. So four centimeters times ten, essentially, and that's half the bar, isn't it? So you're losing you're losing five bars just on the, the height deficit alone. So you could you know with the space with the area. So it's five bars on the top. And probably an extra bar on the, the thing as well. So there's six bars more the area wise, and not you couldn't physically fit them in, of course. But there's an area missing for about six bars, basically, which is 50% of the box over 50%. Well, well, 60%, isn't it? You know, so 60% more you could fit in with the wasted space. So when you think of it like that, that's ridiculous, isn't it? Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So let's, uh, right, so let's snap it in half. So you can see clearly it's a bis more of a biscuit look to it. You can see that looks very much like a biscuit, one of the, I don't know, not quite digestive, but something similar to that. There you go, yeah, so not too bad. I think the chocolate's are a bit cheeky. It's dripped down the side, so it looks like there's more chocolate than it is, but I don't reckon there will be. Let's have a look. It does go in a bit, though. You can see there's a caramel, and the chocolate does go down a bit, but not as much as it does at the side, not all the way down. But it goes it goes to an amount about halfway down. Yeah, so yeah, it's about seven millimeters for the for height, and the chocolate uh, it does dip a bit though. It's very you know it's a, it's about two millimeters in places deep, um, but you can see it sort of ridges up at the side as well. So a bit of a confusing one really. There's lots of smoke and mirrors with this bar, I think. <laughs> There we go, yeah, we all do it, I guess, but yeah, so it looks like it's going to be mainly biscuit, this one, you can see, but, um, hmm, interesting. Yeah, okay, yeah, so the width as well, I don't think I quite mentioned the width, probably did, but three and a half centimetres. So yeah, I'll say the height is about one centimetre with the chocolate on top, with the ridge, with the lip, but again, it's a cheat, so without that sort of ridge of the chocolate, about 0.7 centimeters yeah so there we go all right so um yeah a lot of uh, smoke and mirrors with this one it looks quite nice i like the sort of pattern on the top that wavy chocolate pattern looks nice it does look it does look good actually but yeah lots of um yeah i don't know wasted space wasted packaging sort of you know as i say optical illusion of this making it taller than it is and all sorts so yeah how does it taste? Let's give it a go then, shall we? Let's give it a taste. <laughs> right, okay, once again, give this uh, Twix top a taste. So I've got this as a, this is um, an unopened one, but I've got an open one I had from earlier. <laughs> so thanks again to Lula for this one. Um, yeah, recommending this in the uh, 100, uh, 100 subscriber special. So thank you so much. Um, I requested this one and recommending it. <laughs> so there we go. So this is what we're up against, sort of biscuit version of the Twix bar. So let's do it, let's give it a taste. <laughs> let's do it. Yeah, some people have said it's... The, the problem with this one is it's a bit dry, so I seem to remember when I had it years ago that it was a bit dry, but I can't recall, so we'll see. Let's give it a go. Mm. Mm. Definitely um, more biscuit than regular Twix, as you'd imagine. Mm. Not too bad though, actually. Mm. Not too bad. Mm. I quite like it. It's very much, it's very much like um, basically like a, a sort of a Twix spread on top of a digestive biscuit, almost. You know, the chocolate and the caramel. Hmm. Let's give it a taste. Uh, dunked in a nice warm coffee as well. That's definitely something you can do with this. You can do it without a regular Twix, of course. But it does soften the biscuits a lot to make it less dry, for sure. Hmm. And it's basically a bit more like um, hmm. it's just more of a biscuity Twix, basically. The less, I guess, the, the, you know, normally in the Twix there is obviously biscuit there, but it's probably more caramel and more chocolate, maybe, or hmm. less emphasis on the biscuit. But this one's definitely the more emphasis on the biscuit. It's a pretty average biscuit, you know. It's not um. 
basically like just a it's not that I can't remember the cord really, but it's sort of just one of those typical ones you get. But they even have that sort of stripe pattern on the back of them. Yet and that biscuit selections and things that are a bit they're a bit bit mundane. So it is that, so it's not gonna the biscuit's not gonna blow your socks off. But then I guess the biscuit in the regular tweaks wasn't anything. It's probably the same biscuit anyway. Hmm. There's enough caramel there as well, it's not as much as a Twix has, you know, in you know, it's not like a the layer of caramel is less than um that's in the finger of Twix. It's in the thickness, you know, but um, it's not too bad actually. Hmm. I don't mind this, you know. I don't mind it. I don't think it's too dry. I think it's okay. It's good to dunk in your hot drink as well. Hmm. I mean, the problem with it in regards to this box set is just the amount of wasted space, and it's very, you know, it's. I think you can't forgive it for that, really. Um. Because well, you can buy them individually and things, but you know that's the problem with it. And I think it's it's just too much wasted space, you know. Um, yeah, it's very difficult to 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 take that into account the wasted space of this because you can buy them individually and things. And it's the same thing, but there's so much flourish on there. Was it fifty percent? Fifty percent of this is just just packaging, you know, the width. Um, you know, and then in the box you could fit basically another s with the area that's missing not you couldn't physically fit you know take one and squeeze it in you have to smash it up and things but basically there's empty space in here enough for six more bars um which you can't tell from looking at it. obviously i've taken three out but because of the height things and stuff like this you know the height the gap and the fact that the gap's doubled because it's you know there's two in every um column or whatever um yeah it's crackers really um but overall, I do quite like it. You know, it is quite nice. If you take away all those other factors, it's it's a very nice bar. I mean, it's it's a very much a good sort of biscuit take on the um, on the Twix really. And I think it's very successful. That I would have thought said this was really should be probably packaged a bit differently. And it was in the biscuit section when I got it. In. I think I got it in the Tesco. I think um, it was in the biscuit section there. And it is very much, you know, you could be forgiven for not really classifying it as a sort of a Twix biscuit, but. It is basically. That's pretty much what it is, and I think it's very successful at that. And I like Twixes, and I think this is very nice. Um, it'd be nice if they could perhaps incorporate the the duality of the the, the Twix a bit more somehow into it. But because you know, that's what Twix is all about, it's the fact it's two fingers really, but um, left and right Twix, as the advertising campaign had it. Um, but you know, I guess is a you know yeah. You know, we could argue that the Twix itself is kind of a biscuit, so it's a bit of a there's a lot of biscuit in there. You know, it's but yeah, this is obviously more so. So you know. I think they've done a good job of doing that, really. But as I say, for me, it's just the empty space and stuff, you know, it's unforgivable, really. There's so much of it, I can't really... You know, even in the packaging as well here, there's 50% wasted flourish here. So it's so much smaller than, it's, than, um, than, you know, than it is, than the packaging suggests. So it's not just even if you get the box set version of it, you know. So you're losing 60%, basically, from the box, but 50% here. So it's still a ridiculous amount. Um, so I said, you know, it's 50% packaging, the width-wise. So, yeah, so, you know, I, I, sometimes biscuits are hard to, you know, they're hard to sort of rate, really, because there's often lots of wasted space in, in packets of biscuits and things. But generally, it's because you get, like, 20 biscuits or 10 biscuits. You get a lot of biscuit in there. And because of that, you get you are getting a lot anyway, whereas this one's an individual product, one, one product. And I think it's not as it's not as forgiving here as acceptable. I think not really acceptable in a biscuit either way. You've got a pack of them. I think I reviewed some McVitie's Digestive Limited Edition ones or whatever. And they were very much you know had a lot of um, a lot of, sort of wasted sort of length packaging and things. But as I say, because you've got twenty odd biscuits in there, you are kind of getting quite a lot anyway. And you know, whereas this one I say it's just one one biscuit and it should really be that big. You know, as opposed to as opposed to this big. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, you know. So when you consider it like that, just that size disparity there, you can see. Hopefully you can. And there's, there'll be more than that, really, because there's still the packaging adding some length to it here. Um, yeah, that's that's unforgivable. That really. So I've got to mark it down for that. It's just ridiculous success of packaging. But I do quite like it. Um, you know. I think normally I would have said a four out of five, really, um, but I think I'm going to knock it down to three and a half for all just the, the sheer amount of wasted packaging that makes it look bigger than it is, and it's it's not acceptable. It's not with intolerance. I, I my tolerance is about a fifth, um, you know, and I can perhaps you know, you know, give or take a, a bit, but um, 
but you know yeah this is this is 50 percent you know this is too much um way too much so very disappointing that so yeah three and a half out of five i'm going to give it but i do like it and um you know, if you can look past that then i guess it would be a four normally um it's very nice but as i say it is quite biscuity it very much tastes of a relatively normal biscuit i would say the the Twix, the biscuit in the regular Twix is quite normal, but it's not the major taste, whereas in this one it is. And it's just a bit too normal, really. I think it's definitely better when dunked in a hot drink. Um, but the biscuit's a bit, yeah, it's not the best, but it'd be nice. The biscuit's just a bit, it is a bit dry, but it, I wouldn't say the whole thing tastes dry, but the biscuit itself is a bit dry, not the best biscuit. Um, it's just a relatively normal biscuit. But as I say, that is what's in a regular Twix, so you can't really complain. But, um, but just when placed in the, sort of, when it's the prominent feature, it really, you know, yeah, it's definitely better when dunked in a drink or something like that. Um, but then that's what it's about. It's meant to be like a, a biscuit version of the of the Twix, so or a more biscuit version. <laughs> and so that it does work pretty well, I would say. But yeah, I think normally a four out of five, but because of the waste packaging, it's definitely going to be docked. Um, yeah, at half a mark definitely. So three and a half out of five. <laughs> Well, I mean, you think if you like this one, yeah, Lula and uh, new new uh, new contributor the Discord uh, channel. Um, Chinese has just joined as well. Not sure if he's Chinese or not, or she Chinese. I'm not sure, but um, either way, that's their name. <laughs> so, yeah, so um, yeah, well, you liked it as well, and you actually had, you know, I don't know if it's another account of Lula's or something like that. He has about at least two, so who knows? But <laughs> but um, but yeah, you both said you really like this one, so um, yeah, let me know what you think of the review and. Um, Mm. Well, definitely, definitely, um, definitely better. I remember it being. I did, I did remember I was a bit disappointed last time, but I think, I think the one I had was very crushed and things, and this one definitely is all in one piece. So, um, yeah, I like it. But just a shame, shame about these ridiculously over the top flourishes and waste empty packaging. It's just unforgivable, really. It really is. So yeah, it's a sour. It leaves a sour taste in the mouth, really. <laughs> but there we go. Be enough out of. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, follow me to subscribe, Patreon as well if you can. Uh, like my videos of course. And uh, leave a comment for it. It's always great to uh, hear from you, it really is. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next review. Thanks <laughs> guys, take care. Bye for now. See ya.